Hey guys, today I'm going to be reviewing the Bamboo Pen and Touch from Wacom. It's a uh, base model tablet they have. It's a uh, this one supports pen tool and a touch option. And whenever I was buying this tablet, I saw a lot of reviews that did some pretty basic things, but I never really saw it in use all that often. And I was going to be use it for illustrating. And so I kind of took a blind jump. I know Wacom is known for their products, but I really wish I could have seen some reviews that did some on-screen illustration. So I thought I'd do that for you here. The pin is mainly what I use this for. The touch option is nice, but whenever you're using the pin on-screen, I tend to prefer just to use uh, toggle it off so I don't make any undo marks. But as you can see, I mean, it's, it works fine. The, the touch is okay. I just don't use it all that often. It's got four hot keys to the side. I've got them set to toggle, touch on and off, undo, zoom in and zoom out, which is very handy whenever you're hurriedly trying to zoom into something. It streams light, streamlines a lot of the illustration process. Now, Things like sens touch sensitivity, or uh, sensitivity of the pen tool, is what I really wish I could have seen some more reviews on, and uh, that's what I like. I'd like to illustrate here is I've, I've drawn like a pretty basic looking skeleton of a drawing, and you can see that you know that's not very detailed. So whenever I'm usually drawing on top of an under layer, you get a pretty wide pen tool pin uh, brush size. I'll just do a little basic drawing here. And you can see that the the refresh rate on the pin is pretty solid. You don't get a lot of yips or jumps. And the sensitivity of the nib was pretty good so you don't get any jarring whenever you go from like a low pressure like this one or to a really high pressure like this one I'll just do like a little scribble here so you can see that's pretty uh that's pretty solid for even for a really base model tablet to get that kind of levels of sensitivity I know a lot of the professional artists or people who do this for a full-time living might want something a little bit nicer, but for me this was a perfect kind of entry tablet to get, you know, my feet wet and to get used to the whole tablet thing. And it works great for me. I think it's uh for them to have such a great price on an entry product that could easily wind up costing way more than it does <clears throat> it's a great bargain and it's a great way to get people to use their products that's just a really kind of a silly little illustration and of course it works great with Photoshop being able to use the layers and color underneath everything You can set the brushes to whatever you'd like. Like, say for instance, the sensitivity does different things with the different brushes. So, as you can see here, the sensitivity is mapped to opacity and not to pin width. And that's pretty handy. I mean, it gradiates off the lighter you press and it gradiates down the harder you press other other brushes do different things with sensitivity and you can set all these brushes to do whatever you'd like in the brush presets in Photoshop which is pretty handy this one does something particularly neat <clears throat> I don't use this brush for anything but it's kinda neat that it does it so you press really lightly and you get the really small leaves and you press heavy and you get the really big leaves and it's kind of like just a neat thing but 
all the brushes have the different uh, settings say like you like this brush it's 13 point and it tapers I go to brushes and I can change the, the dynamics of what sensitivity is mapped to so I can set it to airbrush out it's pretty handy to show you an example of you know something a little bit more finished that I've done Let's see I've got this illustration that I used the, the tablet for it was all done using the Wacom tablet obviously you know there's some fonts and stuff in there but it's a nice finished product I think that this would have taken me a lot longer had I been doing it traditionally obviously or even drawing the outlines and dropping them into Photoshop I could just do it entirely in Photoshop save myself a lot of time and it works really well I uh, you can set all these buttons on, t on the side of the tablet to do whatever you'd like there's a properties window where you can set the firmness of the the sensitivity, the eraser firmness you can set all the shortcut links to do whatever you'd like you can set them to keystrokes and it's a, it really helps the whole process become a lot quicker and more intuitive whenever I first got the tablet I quit drawing traditionally for about a month so I could get used to it and that really helped get into the, the feel of the way the tablet works I'd, I would recommend the same thing to anybody who's drawn traditionally for a while I'd also recommend getting a case to keep it in it's a nice padded case it's got a slot for the the pin this one is the BEZ I think it's the wasabi color it's nice fits right into my backpack and whenever I'm ready to go the tablet is so thin that I can just lie it right on my laptop draw right onto it appears on the screen I think it works really well I'd recommend it for anybody who's looking to get into tablets and doesn't have one and doesn't really want to spend the $350 for an Intuos or a nicer tablet it's a it's a great entry point and thumbs up to Wacom for making such a great product alright cool guys thank you for watching the review let me know what you think